One entrepreneur was telling me that a small startup is like a sapling. Everything has to go absolutely right so that that sapling lives. And a startup is exactly the same. One employee lost or gained can be the difference between success and failure for a company. My name is Barry McKenna, and I'm the author of The Post-Viral Pivot, which we did for the Innovation Economy Council. We were looking at all the companies that work with the technology hubs in Ontario and trying to figure out what their contribution is to the overall economy. We matched up these companies and where they fit into the segments of the Canadian economy. And then we looked at those segments and, and figured out how many jobs they were creating, what kind of growth they had, and how they were different from the rest of the economy. And what we found was is that not too surprising, these were the most productive sectors, they were creating jobs at a much faster pace than the rest of the economy, and they were producing more GDP. They also hire more STEM workers, and they do more R&D, and they tend to do more exports. So they are essentially the jewels of the Canadian economy. So working with that, we then reverse engineered that and, and looked at what would happen if we lost a significant chunk of these critical pieces of the economy, looking at, at where they fit into supply chains, what would happen if there were large job losses in those sectors. And you basically get the reverse of all those great things that they are contributing. And it's not just that you're losing something today. What you're doing is, is you're losing the innovations that, that these companies are going to be producing five and 10 years out. So you're not only hurting today's economy, you're hurting the economy of tomorrow. The technology sector is both the president of the Canadian economy, it's the most dynamic sector producing the most jobs at the greatest rate, and it's also the future of our economy. If you look at this incredible moment in time, you have technology companies in Canada that are developing treatments for COVID-19. They're learning how to make ventilators with new sources of supply and helping other companies do that. They're helping companies work remotely at a time when no one wants to get within close proximity of anybody. And essentially, our technology industry is working on the great challenges of the Canadian economy. If you look at the, the traditional industries in Canada. These companies don't develop their own technology. They don't have the capacity to do that. They're concentrated on what they do best, which is selling things or building things or digging things out of the ground. The innovation comes from smaller companies that then feed into these larger supply chains. And that's where the startup community provides the, the most assistance so that the companies right now that are small are gonna be providing the sorts of tools these traditional industries are gonna need five and 10 years out. Governments in Canada have done a really good job over the past five to 10 years of helping young startup companies. And in recent uh, weeks, they've enhanced some of those things, perhaps not enough. We're at a time when governments are spending hundreds of billions of dollars to keep companies afloat and to keep workers employed. A portion of that should be set aside for this industry, which is essentially the future of the Canadian economy. They are working to solve the great societal problems that we have, be it dealing with COVID-19 pandemic or dealing with climate change, these are the companies that are providing the solutions today and they're going to be providing the solutions for tomorrow as well. 